operating the Tuttenauer Autoclave. Ensure the drain valve is closed. Remove the water reservoir cover and ensure the reservoir is adequately filled. Use distilled water only to fill the reservoir. Do not fill the water past the base of the safety valve. Now you're ready to place your pack. Set the multi-purpose valve at fill position to fill the chamber with water. This will take a few minutes. When the water reaches the fill line on the bottom of the chamber near the front, as you can see here, you can close the door and secure it, ensuring proper tightness. Now you can turn the multi-purpose valve to the sterilized position and set the timer for 55 minutes and turn it on. On the newer autoclaves, you only need to set the timer to 45 minutes. When the timer reaches zero and your cycle is complete, turn the multi-purpose valve to exhaust dry, loosen the door, and prop it open about two inches to allow to dry and set the timer for 20 minutes. We will now demonstrate how to do a weekly cleaning of the autoclave. First, you will completely drain the reservoir and then refill it using two liters of clean distilled water. Add 30 mils of speed clean to a cool chamber. You will run the empty autoclave for six minutes at 270 degrees Fahrenheit and never run instruments in the autoclave while you are cleaning it. Seal the door tightly. Turn the multi-purpose valve to sterilize. Turn the machine on. Run it for 270 degrees Fahrenheit at six minutes. After that cycle is complete, drain the autoclave again and refill it with another two liters of distilled water. This time you run a three minute cycle again at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. When finished, you drain the reservoir again and allow the sterilizer uh, to cool to room temperature. Always handle the trays with uh, protective gear just in case the trays are still warm. Once the chamber is cool you can wipe it down the inside as well as the trays. Place the tray back inside the machine as well, wipe out the inside of the chamber and reservoir, being careful not to damage the heater element or the temperature and level sensors. Refill reservoir with clean distilled water. And last but not least, clean the air trap jet by manipulating the air trap wire back and forth.